been a long time since I've been to Hollywood and Vine. In fact, I hear good things about it, which is good because we used to call it Hollywood and Slime. So here we are at Hollywood and Vine. We have checked in. Our friends and I are ready to go. Um, very excited about to do this. Like I said last time, I want to point a little detail. Up above Hollywood and Vine is Eddie Valiant's office. One of my favorite Disney movies, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? And you can see the silhouette of Roger Rabbit coming out the window right there. But Eddie Valiant Detective Agency is right there. And Roger Rabbit has come through the window and we're about to eat at the restaurant underneath his office. All right, as you can see, we got our table, and uh, it's it's loud in here. That's one thing about Hollywood and Vine is that if you're not ready for a loud restaurant, don't go to Hollywood and Vine. Don't go to 50s Prime Time because they're all loud. It's a buffet. We have to see our server before we can get up, and once we see our server, we can go. And as you can see, oop, there's the main mouse himself. He's sneaking in the shot right there. So as you can see, it's a character buffet. All of us are excited. We're all little children. Goofy. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Because we're in a character dinner, I chose to not take my camera up to the buffet. I just don't want to catch kids that aren't mine in the video, having too fun here. It's just not the way I do things. But here's my selection. I do have some vegetarian chili, macaroni and cheese with shrimp and bacon, roasted potatoes, sour cream and chive, mashed potatoes, barbecue meatballs, marinated chicken, and hidden back there are some olives for a little bit of color. This is gonna be good. Awesome. Thank you very much, Pluto. Oh, we love it having you come by. We love your outfit. Your hat's so beautiful. <laughs> what and what's your what's your star for? Oh, it's your name. Oh, okay. I thought you had gotten like an award, but you deserve an award. You deserve an award. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Pluto. First plate. I tried everything. Not finished everything yet, but first plate. I like the vegetarian chili. It's more like vegetarian chicken tortilla soup. I know it said chicken in there, but it's that's kind of what I would describe it as. That's kind of what it tastes like, and I like it. It's it's runnier. It's not like thick like chili normally is. So I wouldn't have called it chili. I would have called it like vegetarian chili soup. But it's good. It has a, it has really good flavor. I like. I think my favorite on the plate though is the shrimp and bacon mac and cheese. That was really good. Good flavor behind it. They definitely season it with a little bit of Old Bay. And second is going to be actually the barbecue meatball. The barbecue meatball had this like really good smoky flavor. The meatball was definitely a mix of meats. It was probably veal pork chicken. Very good. But everything was great. And this is a change because like I said, we used to call this place Hollywood and Slime. It's no longer that. I've already made that decision. And I think everyone at the table with me is already in agreement that their, their, their meal is excellent too. So that's my first plate. We'll see what I think. I don't know if I'm going to get another one. But We'll see what happens. All right, here's our Minnie, did you did you make all the food for us? Oh, thank you. Did you make all the food for us? Oh, did oh yeah yeah. We're cleaning our plates too. Yeah. Oh, you your cooking is fabulous. We 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 couldn't have we we were just enjoying the heck out of it. <laughs> Thanks, Minnie. We love you. <laughs> so I got a second plate. I didn't really get much. This, this right here is for my sister. I know my sister watches my videos, and she's a vegetarian. This is the crispy Asian tofu. I think she's gonna appreciate me eating that. And we also have the peas and pearl onions. That is the beef from the beef stew. I just wanted to try it because my friend said it was excellent. And this is the braised pork belly with guava sauce. And I think this will be it, my final plate before dessert, but this is uh, looking excellent. Second plate assessment. I'm gonna start with the peas. Ew. I don't know what's wrong with these peas. Like, I like peas. These peas are gross. I don't know, I'm, I'll just be honest. Like, I'm just being honest. I don't know, something, there's something dry, there's a weird flavor in them. Ew. Pork belly, good. But not finish the piece good. I like the guava sauce. It really does help with the flavor. The uh, bacon, the, the, it does have that bacony flavor. I liked, I liked it, but I didn't finish the piece. The tofu, however, this is for you, Jen. The tofu, was excellent. Finished every last piece. It had a nice crispness to it, a little bit of heat to the sauce, nice Szechuan kind of flavorings to it. So, sorry. It was ew, okay, and yeah. All right. Now, finally, though, Sam Adams Winter Lager. This is a staple around the country, but cheers. 
The next plate is dessert. Dessert plate. Apple crisp, signature bread pudding. I'm gonna check those out and see what I think. I have to make this quick, because we're about to have a special guest appearance. Bread pudding wins, hands down. The apple crisp was good. Everything you expected. Cinnamon, a little bit of crumble, apples, good. Banana pudding, phenomenal. The vanilla sauce, just super tasty. And the consistency of the bread pudding, exactly where you want it. It's a signature dish here for a reason. I will no longer call this restaurant Hollywood and Slime. I will refer to it by its actual name of Hollywood and Vine. It has redeemed itself food-wise. Characters have been top-notch, as they always have been. Like, are those satin lapels? Oh, yeah. Oh, very nice. Very, ooh. <laughs> very fancy. Yeah, you, the, the dapperest mouse in the world, right? <laughs> we love you. Can we get one bit more picture? Oh, thank you. So, what'd you, what'd you do? Who's your tailor? Who's your tailor? You don't know? Just whoever, whoever throws the needles together? Very <laughs> nice. We love you, Goof. You want more picture with my wife? Thank you. <laughs> there you have it, Hollywood and Vine. Great care interactions, great food, except for the peas. And just every, in general, I'm, I'm, I'm turned around, I'm turned around. Like, I used to not like this restaurant, and I guess I'm gonna have to come back, oh darn, have great time with great characters, and just not eat the peas. We're gonna head out uh, to Fantasmic, and uh, we, you wanna come in? Uh, uh, yeah, come on, say hi to my friends. <laughs> Goofy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it, it's the best way to catch things, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Goof. <laughs> that was fun. Okay. Uh, that's why I love this restaurant. <laughs> I love, I love great characters. That was awesome. Hollywood and Vine, you're back on my list. You're back on my list. Okay, this is a random stop. You're back on my list. If you like this review, I really appreciate it if you would hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, whatever you gotta do, help out the channel, we'd appreciate you. Leave a comment down below about your favorite character meal, whatever it is. We love you, we're glad to have you here with us. Thanks for watching, and as we always say, because we don't like to say goodbye, because we're gonna see you real soon. See you, bye.